Okay, my name is Warren Roberts, and in this episode of the Hillbilly Repairman, we're going to install a septic system. Um, I've got a mobile home up in uh, Kern County, California, and uh, there was uh, no septic there, so, so the plan is to install one. Um, there was a lot of planning that went in, in, into this before I'm able to do this. I had to have a perk test done on the soil, a soil inspection, uh, and then I had to have a, an engineer draw the system for me. Uh, then I had to go to the environmental health department and get a permit. Um, after I got the permit, I was able to go up there and do the work that you're going to see right now. Um, a couple of things that, uh, that I should probably talk about is one, um, it went really well. Um, because I went and I spoke with the inspector ahead of time, I asked him all the questions like, what do you want to see? How do you want it to be done? Um, and so he gave me a lot of information and that made it very simple to, um, get my final inspection on it because I built it the way that he wanted to see it. Uh, if you're planning on doing something like this, I would suggest that you go talk to the inspector ahead of time and do the same thing. You know, he was at my place maybe 30 minutes and, uh, and I was all signed off. So that was a big help. Um, something else is, uh, you'll see halfway through the video, I had a white septic tank and then I have a green septic tank. So the reason for that is the white one did not have a UPC sticker on it and the green one had one. And that's one of the things that the inspector told me. He said, if you don't have that sticker on it, it's not certified in California, you can't use it. So I had to go buy a new septic tank. Um, not that big of a deal, but you know, it was, eh, it was about a thousand dollars extra since I already had one and I didn't really want to buy another one. Um, and another thing is that you'll notice my backhoe skills are not professional. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole backhoe situation, but, um, I got it done and, uh, I've only had that backhoe for a few months and I probably have about, well, now I have about six hours on it. Prior to starting this project, I had about 30 minutes on it. So, um, as I went along, yes, I got a lot better at it, but in the beginning I was very slow. So anyways, uh, the tank here has to, uh, has to be 20 foot from the house. So that's the trench I just dug and that, that's uh, Kern County, California standards. I don't know if that's the way it is in the rest of the country, but so the, uh, pipe's going to come out of the house there. It's got to come down through this trench and I'm just about to dig, uh, the hole for the tank and and then I got to come out here and I got to put 69 foot of leech line in. And so that's my plan for today is to, uh, to dig out that trench, maybe get to, uh, put in the rock and, uh, and I got to leave it open with the rock in it for the inspector. So, um, for right now, I'm going to set up my level, check where I'm at and then get working on the, uh, hole for the tank and the and the trench for the leech line
All right, so uh, I got my hole dug and got it level. According to my laser, it's within about an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna put the tank in, wiggle it around a little bit and then kind of shim it with some dirt to make sure that it's level. So that took, uh, that took a while. And this is a little shelf here where, uh, where it's gonna head out to the leach field, my pipe. So um, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna dig it out. I got my tank hanging up there on the backhoe. I'm gonna set it in here and uh, level it up. So for the leach field, basically what, what they wanted was a three foot wide um, and three foot rock underneath the pipe. And the pipe had a quarter inch per foot slope so in the beginning well and then also you have to have a foot of rock on top so the first part of the trench was like four feet and at the end it was I think it was like 17 inches deeper so five foot whatever whatever the math works out to so that there's a slope you know going downhill um, so so it's three foot of rock the pipe and a foot of rock on top of that and then I put this black um, barrier like uh, fabric on top of that and then backfilled it with dirt and uh, and that's the way they wanted it uh, from the county also let's see the way I uh, I set the quarter inch per foot drain um, the pipe slope is I took a four foot level and I taped a one inch block to the very end. So when you set it on the pipe, when it reads level in the middle, it actually has a quarter inch per foot drop because at four foot, a quarter inch per foot, that's one inch drop. So that's how I could check my pipe as I went along. Um, so the slope would, would head out down the leach field uh, and that's how I did it. Um, I also did that on the pipe coming out of the tank. That one has a quarter inch slope. The one coming out of the house to the tank has about a 10% or 12% slope to that. Uh, I don't know exactly, but that pipe carries the solids. So you want that to come out um, with a little more of a slope so that it doesn't get caught up along inside the, the pipe. Uh, so that's how I did that one. and. The tank itself just sits level, or as close to level as I could get it. All right, I'm way ahead of myself on the video here, but I got the tank in the ground, and uh, as you can see, it's filling with water as I fill it up. And, uh, and then I'm going back and I have a little tamper and I'm tamping it down as it goes. So I, uh, I dug that hole out and I got it level within a quarter of an inch from end to end which was uh, not easy to do. So, but the tank is sitting level within a quarter of an inch and the uh, installation instructions say within a half inch is okay. So I'm only halfway of my tolerance. So I'm gonna continue filling it in here until I got it uh, filled up to where you can't see that. Just barely, you can see that sticker there. And, uh, and wait for the inspector. So on the leach field, I've got it all in. The inspector wanted to clean out at the end and uh, every pipe he wanted to be able to put a level on. So each pipe has a spot you can put a level on as well as this, this right here where it comes out of the tank. I still got to work on connecting it to the house. You can see that that's not really ready to go. I just put that pipe in there so no, no dirt will get in my tank while I'm backfilling. I needed to get some of the dirt out of the way so I could work over there. All right, that's my update for now. Okay, I got my inspection and uh, I passed. So right now I'm just, uh, I put down that black, um, barrier material and I started to backfill here so that's the plan
just backfill it all right now and uh, then hopefully nobody will fall in. All right. All right, as you can see, I pretty much got it all backfilled now. And uh, I gotta go, I can't stay anymore. I guess next time I come up, I'll uh, smooth it all out and make it look pretty. And then I gotta get rid of this uh, other dirt and the rocks. My goodness, there was a lot of rocks. You see them laying all over the place. I had to pick all those out. I didn't want them in around the tank, so I kind of sifted through it. That probably took more time than doing the job. But uh, all in, probably about three days of solid work from six in the morning till eight o'clock at night. I did it all by myself. Well, me and that old backhoe. And uh, I got it signed off. City inspector was really happy with it. He said, uh, usually when he goes on a homeowner installed septic system, he's a little leery, but uh, my grades were exact. My uh, slope in the pipe was really good. The tank was almost perfectly level. And he had the, I had the clean out here and the clean out at the other end. And uh, that's everything that he wanted. So there we go. It's all signed off and ready to go. All right, so uh, if you plan on doing something like this, it's not really that hard. Um, it's, it's, it's hard work, but um, it can be done. Um, it's just digging a trench and making sure that everything is level and, uh, and the way the inspector wants it. Um, I would say anybody who, who can, I mean, I did it and, and I'm not a professional backhoe operator. I'm not a septic installer. Um, I'm not a plumber, but I got the job done. So can it be done by someone else that doesn't have those skills for sure? And uh, I would say do it if you, uh, if you want to save a few thousand dollars. All right. We'll see you next time on uh, Hillbilly Repairman.